Today on Jenny Jones, Jenny's own painful story about her breast implants and the medical uncertainty she faces every day. I'm angry and frustrated and scared. Plus a look at both sides of the breast implant controversy and an update on what every woman should know. And now, here she is, Jenny Jones. This is a regular silicone implant, okay? Let me show you how thin this is. Get a close-up of this. This is the new ones. They're making thinner so they'll look more natural. Can you see how thin this is? Look at this. All right? In fact, they're not making them thinner. They're making them thicker. thicker. The thin implants came out in 73 and 74. What, what's and this there has one? Been an, I, I have no idea where that came from, but I've never seen an implant I've like that in my life. Who brought this in? Did you bring this in? A lawyer. Tell me, tell, you're, what are you, uh, yeah, a lawyer. A lawyer brought it in. I got this when from is, a plastic surgeon. Uh, when was these it two, and This is how thin they are making them, and the silicone no. bleeds right through it. No. But what The women have to realize is you can't go to a plastic surgeon to find out what's wrong with the implant. You have to go to the manufacturer. And as Silver brought up earlier, they were found fraudulent in a court of law. By a jury. And we were never By a jury. The we ones that saw the documents, the plastic surgeons are operating in the blind. They haven't seen the documents that we've seen that the jury did see and what the public is now it, it, being able to see. In fact, the plastic surgeons did see the document. The 90 documents just that released, they asked right. for from Dow Corning. Dow Corning there's just a, released 800 documents that you have never seen before. A silicone and there's a implant lot more. Research I have four crate folds of documents and I, there is a silicone implant research committee that has looked at those documents and they have agreed with the FDA panel in saying that they can find no scientific link between yes. immune disease and silicone. We'll be right back.